did you find me? I changed my job handle to ditch you guys! How did you find me? Uh, lame? What, the last few months? Okay, this time I'll believe that you aren't human. Because the skepticism center of my brain is starting to wear kind of thin, I guess. But you're still a major asshole, and I don't actually want to talk to you, so bye! <laughs> oh man, look at this outburst of little human words I'm saying. From my human mouth. Who? Why would someone wear sunglasses while using a computer? I know that anyone committed to such an affectation could only be striving to mask a severe insecurity complex, and likely harbors a crisis of self-image. I have been known to lend my charitable attention to such people, but only bossed around by them insofar as the psychiatric professional has cause to humor the demented for analytical purposes. Or maybe as a lab chimp commands the zookeeper's interest in its shit by forcing him to duck under the trajectory now and then. Yes, I'm a girl. North American holler and phallus baboon. No, it's true. We are highly endangered. When our territory is threatened, that's when the indiscriminate fucking begins. Could fuck a circus tent down a gas tank. Bunch up in there good. Slam the lid and drive away. Beep beep, albino hairless dick monkey coming through. The glittering civilization before you was built on angry ape fuck power alone. Shaggy too dope? Okay, sorry. It's Ben Stiller. Warning! For the duration of every episode of Ask Dave's Voice, listeners temporarily become the Xbox One's internet connection. Always turned on. Password! I said password, fuck ass! Oh, whoops, sorry. I've been having too many password arguments with Cargat, I guess. Uh, well, it depends. Do you want to have a silly conversation or a serious conversation? Both are, but a silly conversation mostly doesn't matter or make the timeline any more confusing than it needs to be. In fact, I would say it's coming dangerously close to being one already. But if it's a serious conversation you want, then I'm afraid I must demand a... Uh... Password! Why, mustache, of course. What sort of clever disguise would like such an important piece? A very poor one, that's what. Gelatin and hot water make an excellent homemade hair gel. I would wish to offer the Crockett Corp lineup for examination. The side effects are much too bothersome for me to honestly sincerely recommend at this time. I certainly appreciate the affection of people such as yourself. It's hard to feel unappreciated when there's so many folks within, well... I suppose fandom is the best world, isn't it? On the other hand, have you been witness to some of the results of fandom's affections? Being unappreciated seems to be the least of my worries. Jane, Jane, OMG, you have got to see this. You're gonna, you're gonna piss yourself laughing. <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> Jane, look. Jane, I'm a vodka corn. It's like a unicorn, but like, except I got a vodka bottle as a horn. In hindsight, I should have prepared for the day that you finally decided to question the sheer brilliance of my katana. I reach for the handle of the katana with utmost dexterity, grasping upon it like the finest of bulbous foam asses. It was then that I had gained my blade and realized my destiny as the one true symbol of all things anime. Well, Heidi, hi there, everyone. This is Jake English. Now, I do enjoy beating my gums about the best of things, but don't think for a second I've got all day to yammer on. I'm a fellow with a lot of get up and go, and you see, I don't just have all day to twiddle my thumbs and talk. I've got adventures to get on with. Well, fine then! Since past me just banned current me from the preceding memo and doesn't appear to give a shit about my future wisdom as usual, looks like I'll just have to start another memo from scratch. Hey, past me, go have a blast killing the king. I'm sure it will be awesome. In fact, it was awesome. Bang up job with that dude. Too bad it was all a huge waste of time. Oh, what's that, past hole? You didn't read this and figure that out ahead of time? Or maybe you just skimmed this and it didn't get through your thick bulge. What a shock. Hello. I think it's absurd I never introduced myself to you in all that time I spent moping around the lab. Guess I wasn't in a very good mood. Hi, Dave. My name's Aradia. Um, six? A girl and a place very close to you. In fact, I could visit you right now if you would like. To be fair, it translates to the same age as you, which at the present moment is twelve, is it not? Understanding disparities in the flow of time should be easy for people like us, let alone understanding disparities in such pedestrian things as units. Uh, hey, uh, Carcat? L listen um, I know you really like your leadership role and all that, and, uh, I, I don't want to, uh, step on your territory or anything, but, uh, I, I feel 
confident enough, and don't take this the wrong way or anything, uh, but I feel confident enough to say that I, I would be a pretty amazing leader and could make leadership type decisions uh, that would uh, allow me to make us a better group. Uh, if, I mean, if that's all right with you, uh, you know, just something that I wanted to try. I'll fuck that noise in every leaking orifice it's got. You know I hate the combined product of you and myself more than you could ever begin to hate me and myself and you and yourself on your worst day. So fucking deal with it! Who cares? I'm yanking the grub tube on this overpunctured bitch. I'm telling Red Team Leader to forget the whole thing. I'm quitting as Blue Team Leader. If you want to shamble through this macabre fantasy of your solo, be my guest. Aradia, I'm right glubbing here, like two feet away from you. If you want to say something to me, why don't you just turn to your left and say it? It's bad enough that you've hardly said two lousy words to me since you became that sweaty asshole smooch bot. AC twitches her friendly whiskers at CT. CT perplexes over where he put that important wrench that he needed for building a fancy robot or something. He says, now where did that silly old wrench go? But oh look, CT peeks around the corner to find that a very playful kitty has stolen the robot wrench and is now kicking it vigorously with her hind legs. Roar! You're so lame! No, lame. Lame. You've never played a fun purr tent game with me, ever even once. Even Carcat does it sometimes, even if he does mean it in a grumpy and insincere way. But at least it's still fun. No, there was no plot or conspiracy or any trace of saboteurs operating through the special and magical union one can only describe as being in cahoots with another. When a virgin mother grub abdicates and renounces brooding, her time will be relatively short. I always knew this. They're all dying, or are going to soon. I believe it's a preemptive consequence of the game we are about to play. If a preemptive consequence is a concept that can be said to hold any meaning, but from what I understand, if it is applicable in any sphere at all, then this game holds that sphere. Hey, Briska! Anything to say? About killing her? After you said you wouldn't? I'm not sure. I guess I'm looking for some reason to change my mind. I don't know what you can say that'll do it. I sorta hope there's something, though. I was probably just gonna kill you. My tree doesn't have vines! Sometimes I let other people swing from ropes, though. Yeah, anyway, you'll be dead in a couple of minutes. But look at you, car cat. You complain about how awful I must be, but here you are, talking to me all on your own. I guess I must be doing something right. And besides, I've obviously been apologetic about all that dumb friend drama. What else do you want me to do? Bake them all a cake? I'm just one troll here, crabby pants. Me? Use my powers? Never. And if she thought it was such a big deal, she probably would have come after me by now, don't you think? I know using such advanced tactics to facilitate revenge must be very exciting for you, but quit with the useless threats and can-throwing, Van Tactless. I believe that this is probably nonsense. I've already been horn-swoggled repeatedly by your comrades, who I quite reasonably mistook for your superiors in bloodline. Your race makes a habit of deception, and I will not tolerate it. You will stop. I command that all verbal misdirection and hoofbeast play will cease during my communications. Is that understood? This is... impropriety of a caliber I cannot even... It's... You're as low on the hemo spectrum as possible. To consider that someone so low could be in a position of authority over me, it's just... so... disgusting. No, it's... filthy! Magnets are a hell of bipolar motherfuckers. They attract each other because one of the sides hates and the other side loves. And they stick together because otherwise they'd feel lonely as fuck. They work because of true love and acceptance, you know? And love is a motherfucking miracle. Fef, are you in? That took forever. I was getting worried. Kinda. Man, that guy. 
He's a fucking drama machine. It is fucking pathetic. Fuck. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I was just really worried and stressed out, and I thought you were dead. And I didn't even get to thank you for saving my life, or really for anything. And I just spent all this time here worrying and thinking about stuff. Hello! Kania, hi! Glub, 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 glub! <laughs> glub, 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 glub! <laughs> Sorry, I can't really control the gloves. I'm excited! Everything we're about to do next is exciting! It's always exciting! I'm excited! Pachoo! <laughs> I really launched that one. <laughs> glove, glove, glove! Hey, let's stop being retarded for a minute. I'm just worked up about this game! It will be great! I've been waiting a long time to get started. We all have! We should compare notes, even though we're on different teams. Hmm, really? See? This is why we should be comparing notes. Hello again, my dears. You would not believe what I've had to deal with these past few... days? Weeks? To answer the questions that have been floating around my arse box for a while, yes, I am alright. And I am ever, ever so sorry that it's been so long since we last spoke. My idiot? Infantile, infernal brother broke our microphone. Not only that, but once it had been fixed, he bloody nicked it from me. For what seems like forever, he kept it somewhere on his side of the room, and the only way I could secure its safety was to... Oh, you wouldn't believe the awful games he had me play with him. But let's not dwell on that. Let's just move on. Hello, fuckers! I'm back! Actually, I never left! Did you think you got rid of me? You should always expect me to be here. <laughs> One of you anons even asked if I died or something. You would like that, wouldn't you? But that did not happen. Allow me to explain. After the little mishap with my sister during my last recording, I destroyed the microphone to teach that conniving bitch a lesson. She's particularly fond of this silly thing. How heartbroken she was when she realized what I did. Oh, it was priceless. Obviously, it has been repaired. But you should have seen how furious she was. <laughs> Gay lines.